of the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. That's us, Bill. Yeah. I know, pal. Come on, shake a leg. Okay. I'll get it. Hello? Nasty one going along Razorback Ridge, Bill, and heading east. All right, Sam, we're on our way. I'll pick you up on the car radio. You ready, pal? Yeah. One boot to go, and then we can roll. <laughs> This is the life of the forest ranger, and in this case, all the men of the town aren't being roused out because, in the opinion of the ranger on duty in Tower 7, this is a bad one and must be contained and squelched as quickly as possible. So in the middle of the night, the butcher, the baker, the doctor, the lawyer, and all the men of the town have to leave their warm beds and half a night's sleep to fight a roaring monster. Now, most of the men take this emergency call in fine spirit, and out they come. That is, all except one man... And he isn't an ordinary Joe civilian either. He's a ranger. Let's call this story... The Last Fire Call. <laughs> One o'clock in the morning, they blow that ever screeching siren. Get an old man out of bed in the middle of the night. Old timer, you ready? Of course I ain't ready. You think I'm a young whippersnapper like you are? Come on, Grumpy. We got fire to fight. All right, all right. Keep your suspenders hitched up. I'll get there in the name of Stumpy. All right, about time. <laughs> I can tell you one thing, youngster. Uh, uh, just a minute, Stumpy. Uh, slide over. one thing you're going to tell me. This is the last fire this old man's going to fight. Sector one, come in, sector one. Sector one to Ranger one, over. Make sure you contain the fire in your sector, Tom. I think we'll have it lit. No problem. Say, Bill, my men are dehydrating pretty fast. I know. There's a truck with ten crates of citrus fruit and a hundred gallons of milk on the way to you now. Should be there shortly. Make sure each man has all the milk he can drink and fruit he can eat, so dehydration is stopped. Yes, sir. I'll see to it personally. Over and out. Ranger 1 to Sector 2. Sector 2, come in. This is Sector 2. Over. Grey Wolf, backfire more strongly and watch the next crown. I expect the wind switch shortly, which should help you hold the line. You've got the toughest front. Can you hold? Get hard fight, but we hold. I yell if need more men and equipment. How are your men? Milk and fruit help. They fight hard again. We'll keep you posted. Good. Over and out. Hey, Bill, where's Stumpy? I don't know, Henry. I was going to ask you the same thing. Have you seen him? No, I haven't. Isn't he supposed to be in command of the center sector? That's right. Oh, he's around here somewhere. Maybe up right on the line helping the man. Oh, I just came back from the center line and I didn't see him. Huh? Are you sure? Sure. I, I wanted to ask him a question. Well, so do I when I find him. All right, boys. Slow down a little now. We got the man 
monster backing up and stepping on its own feet. Just keep a sharp eye for any flame burst, otherwise it'll burn itself Stop out. It. Stop it. Where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. What do you mean? Where have I been? The chef for sitting down for a spell have been right here on the line. Wow. Okay, but, but you better report to Bill and tell him. I was looking for you when you were sitting down, I guess, and I asked Bill if he'd seen you. Now he's in the act, too. What's the matter? Can an old man sit down for a spell when he's plum tuckered out? Huh? What did I do to bring on that outburst? Well, I'll tell Bill you've been here all along. All right, youngster. I better stay right here and get this fire out. I'll explain when we're cleaning up. Okay, I'd better get back to Bill. He might need me back. You tell that young whippersnapper I can do that firefighting sitting down just as well as standing up. No man can't lose a half night's sleep and stay chipper as a month old coat. And you tell him one more thing. Well, hurry up, will you? I gotta get back. Tell Ranger One that this is my last firefight. What? What'd you say? You heard me. Yeah? Yes, I did, but I just want to hear it again. It sounded like you said you were quitting. That's the general idea, Sonny, the general idea. Oh, I, I've never seen anyone who could mess up oh, water, dirty water, equipment water, so yeah. fast and so thoroughly as firefighters. <laughs> you have a strong point there, pal. Wet ashes, yeah. mud, <laughs> soot, and guck. Yeah. Boy, what a mess. <laughs> oh, look at those trucks. My acre back. <laughs> but think how nice everything looked when all clean and shine again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only joking, fellas. I knew you'd say that after a while if we let you chin enough. <laughs> hey, didn't you guys see my boots? Are you sure you lost them, Tom? Of course I'm sure. I wouldn't be asking if I weren't. You seen them? I'll say I have. I'm looking at them right now. Huh? Where? Yeah, look, look at your feet. You know, follow your legs down. You'll get to your feet. Oh, yeah. oh no. It's a good thing my head's tied on her. I'd be looking for that, too. Now, don't be embarrassed, Tom. We're all exhausted from firefighting. That was a tough one. Uh, thanks for the comfort, boss. I'm sure a good night's sleep will restore me to normal. I'll see you fellas in the morning. Ah, good night. Good night, night John. Uh, Gray Wolf, you'd better head for home and bed, too. Henry and I will close up. We'll clean the trucks in the morning. Oh, thanks, Bill. Good night. Good, good night, night, Gray Wolf. Well, let's call it a day, pal. It's a good idea. Bill? Yeah? I'm worried about Stumpy. So am I. What's wrong with him, do you think? Is it old age, or is he worn out, or tired, or what? He, he didn't even show to clean up the equipment. I know it. What do you think's the answer? I wish I knew the answer right now, pal. I'm afraid we'll have to wait a few days and see what happens. But he said he was going to quit. Don't you believe him? Henry, a lot of men have threatened to quit many times while doing their last work. One man wrote over several dozen letters resigning his high position. Every time he'd tear up the letters after he got the pet peeves off his chest. Yeah, perhaps the old timer's got some pet peeves he's been storing up inside and has to air them. Then he'll be all right. This is his way of doing it. Boy, I sure hope you're right. I'd better be. We'll have one of the best rangers that ever walked retire right under our noses. Hiram. Morning, Stumpy. Say, how come you're out sashaying around so early on a working day? Or is this your day off? Well, you mind call it that. Oh, is that so? Huh? What can I sell you for money? You got some time to spend on me. Yeah, of course I have. You're a customer, aren't you? Yep, I have been. Say, what's sailing you anyhow? Nothing, nothing at all. Hey, uh, how are you fixed for deep sea gear? Well, I've got a fair stock and can order it pronto if need be. But what would you be wanting with deep sea gear? That's my business, Hiram. Uh, yep, I reckon. Deep sea gear is mighty expensive. Uh, cast your eyeballs on this. Stumpy Jenkins, you didn't rob the bank, did you? <laughs> nope. 
I just came from the bank, but what I took from it was legal and proper. This money is mine and has been for some time. Now let's get busy looking at some deep-sea fishing tackle and stuff. Yeah, why, why, yes, of course. Uh, say, by the way, where do you plan to go fishing? What ocean? Oh, first off, I thought of mine try the Gulf of California. But the Florida kind of takes my fancy, too. You old walrus. Are you going to retire? Well, you mind call it that, you old billy goat. Uh, yep, indeed, you mind call it that. That's a mighty pretty car, Paul, but ain't it kind of sporty for an old man like me? Oh, well, perhaps you're right, Stumpy. Come over here and we'll look at a more conservative body color and style. <laughs> oh, that's more like it, young feller. I'm glad you like it. Say, Stumpy, how come you're buying a new car now? Not that I'm complaining, mind you, but I'm curious. You've driven that old one of yours for years. Oh, you might say I'm planning to take a trip. Well, good for you. I I'm I'm glad to hear it. I'm sure you'll have a lot of pleasure out of your new car. No, I think I will, Sonny. I think I will. In fact, I know I will. What kind of place is this Bermuda Island, Miss Jean? Oh, I imagine it's wonderful, Mr. Jenkins. Warm sunshine and mild climate, ocean breezes. Ever been there? Oh, my goodness, no. <laughs> you talk like maybe you had once or twice. <laughs> no, I just read all these travel folders and dream. <laughs> I don't think I'll go to Bermuda Island. Why not? Don't you think you'd like it there? Oh, I reckon I'd like it all right. Just don't like to get my feet off in solid ground. Oh, you mean the getting there? Yep. What happens if the engines on them merry planes gets all tuckered out and there ain't no dry land set down on her? If somebody pulls the cork in one of them there floating bathtubs. Oh, Stumpy. Don't Stumpy me. I'll tell you what happens. It's gurgle, gurgle all the way to the bottom of the ocean. Me, I don't walk so good on the bottom. <laughs> and my snorkel ain't long enough. <laughs> Honestly, you're the funniest man I've ever known. <laughs> You mind if I take some of these and look at the pictures? Of course, you may have them. But you can read, can't you? Uh, reading makes me think. And thinking gets me stirred up. I'm too old for thinking. From now on, I'm just resting. I'll bring them back after a spell. Thank you, Miss Jean. What a wonderful old gentleman. I wonder what he's up to. Surely he's not going to retire. Not after all the talking he's done about how much he loves the Forest Service. Bill, do you think Mr. Jenkins is really going to retire? Sounds like he's getting ready to take an extended trip, doesn't it? I guess it does. Mm -hmm. He'll have to retire to do it. Bill, the old walrus has ordered about $200 worth of deep-sea fishing gear. Is that right, Hiram? Yep. I think he's going to retire, don't you? I don't know. He hasn't said a word to me about it. <laughs> Paul, you must be joking. Well, I wish I were, Bill, but, but there he was, and he mm -hmm. bought a car. Uh, maybe he isn't bluffing after all. Did you think he was? Yes, I did. I thought it was just a passing fancy. Well, I guess I'd better go back to the office and get out some copies of Form 3366D. What kind of a form is that? That's the last form a ranger ever has to sign, Paul. It's his retirement application. Forty-two years' service. Oh, but plenty long time, Bill. I'll say it is, Grey Wolf. I remember the first time I met the old-timer, twelve years ago. The fellow who was boss ranger before me was killed in an unfortunate accident. I was ordered to report to Naughty Pine on the double. I walked into the office that first day. Well, Sonny, come on in the rest of the way and set a spell. Thank you for the invitation. 
So this is Ranger headquarters of the Naughty Pine District, huh? That's right, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, two million acres of it. How do you know my name, old-timer? Yeah, it weren't hard. It's printed right on your travel bag. <laughs> You're pretty sharp for a young fellow. Ain't so young, sonny, but still mighty sharp. The name is Stumpy Jenkins. Stumpy Jenkins, huh? I'm glad to meet you, Stumpy. Thank you, sonny. Uh, Mr. Jefferson, that is. Oh, forget the misty stuff. The name is Bill. That's what I want to be called. Say, I've got my mother, and we need to find a house here in Naughty Pine. Do you know where there's one for sale? Yep, I sure do. Just the place, and I know you'll like it. Now, come along, and I'll see to it that you and your mother get set up first rate for living in this here town. Yes, Gray Wolf, that was the old-timer for you. Warm and kind-hearted right from the start. I detected the warm glow in his eyes behind that tough, bucking exterior. We bought the house, and Stumpy was a wonderful help all around. And he sure went for Mom's good cookie. <laughs> now he's through with the Forest Service after 42 years. It just doesn't hardly seem fair that just when a man gets to be most valuable, he's forced to quit and retire. Well, how do you mean, forced to quit and retire? You don't think he would if he felt physically able to stay on, do you, Henry? Yeah, I see what you mean. And now, just when his long experience is paying off, he's going to bow out. Yeah, that's the hard part of it. Oh, it sure isn't going to be the same. Why, well, everything I know about the outdoors and forestry and animals and camping, well, that is almost everything. I mean, he taught me. Why, well, Forest Service and Stumpy Jenkins are one word around here. That is, ever since I can remember. And old Betsy, his rifle. And his old beat-up ranger hat that he uses for everyday work. Yeah, it isn't, isn't going to be the same, not at all. Yeah, old-timer and Grey Wolf ride same trail many years now. It's going to be different, all right. Plenty different. I not like it. What? Losing Stumpy is worse than a fella having to... Oh, having to... Sociable anymore. Maybe I got the seven spot itch or something. It's a seven day itch, Stumpy. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. What's ailing you, young whippersnappers? Now, if you was old like me, oh, you'd have. Why, that's all you talk about now is how old you are. Boy, a month ago, wasn't even that long. Ten days ago, you'd have beat my ears off if I'd as much as hinted that you were old. How come you grow old so fast, Stumpy? How old? Where, where how? Are you? Well, I, I hope you enjoy old age. I just hope you enjoy real well. <laughs> you know, I was all happied up when I come in and now this happens. Maybe you forgot about some of longtime friends who have great affection for you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, I reckon you're right, Grey Wolf. Only I ain't forgot about them, really. But it's too late to back out now because I've made up my mind to retire. Bill, I'd like to file my application for retirement. Eh, what's the matter with you, bird? You gone deaf? No, I've been wondering how long it would be, old timer, until you came to me and made this request. Huh? What are you getting at, sonny? Come on, spit it out, man style. I'm only your boss, Stumpy, or have you forgotten that? Well, I, uh, well, that is, I, uh, the whole town knows, but until now, no official word comes to me. For 12 years, we've worked together, almost died together several times. Don't you think I deserve the courtesy of not being publicly embarrassed? Everyone knows about this but me. I should have been the first one to hear it. Is that the way you feel about it, Bill? Yes, sir. Those are my exact feelings on the subject. Now, now you listen to me, Mr. Boss Ranger Bill Jefferson. Six times I tried to come in here and tell you I'm a quitting. Six times I tried and six times I failed. Today I got myself all braved and couraged up to come in here and face you and then tell you I'm applying for retirement. Do you think it's easy for an old prairie dog like me to come in here and tell you this? You, you've not only been the best boss I ever had, but the best friend. All of you have. Where could an old goat like me find young friends who'd always consider him and their plans? 
Never once did you shove me aside because I was years older than you fellers. You made me feel young in mind and body. Now my old bag of bones is getting tired. And now, before I start a blubbering like a female woman, do I get the forms to apply for retirement or don't I? Fellas, I called you together so we can work out a surprise farewell party for the old timer. What's your plan, Bill? Yeah. Before I give you my ideas and you give me yours, I want to say that this must be top secret. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll say so. Stumpy's uh, skitterish enough right now as it is because of his retirement, and if he gets wind of this, he minds skitterish right out of town. Yeah. yeah. Okay, shoot, Bill. We're listening. Well, Tom, Sam, your job is to get all the rangers lined up and their families. We'll meet here Friday night and all go over to the old-timer's place in a group. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll do. Yeah. Well, what we do... Uh, Gray Wolf, you get the word around town. Henry and I'll pass the word to the rangers outside this area that knows Stumpy. Also, we'll make arrangements for the food and all that sort of thing. Shh, everybody, everybody wait here now, please. Henry and I'll go up to the door, and when we go in, we'll leave the door ajar. And then you can come rushing in. All right, let's go, pal. Uh, we thought we'd uh, come on over and see if you need a hand uh, since you're pulling up stakes in the morning, Stumpy. Well, that's mighty nice of you. Hey, who left the door open? Surprise, Surprise, Stumpy! Surprise, Surprise, Stumpy! Surprise, Stumpy! Surprise, Stumpy! Surprise, Stumpy! Surprise, Stumpy! Let's not do much palavering, if you please. Okay, Stumpy, we won't. Have a wonderful trip. Yeah, that goes for me, too. You have good rest and a lot of fun. We won't say goodbye, old-timer. Just have a nice time. I, I won't say anything, because if I do, I'll begin a blubbering. Thanks for everything, and thank all those who gave me the party last night. So long. We just had to come and see you off, too, Stumpy. Yeah, have a good retirement, you old walrus. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. Hiram. <laughs> yes, and oh, I hope you change your mind and, and go to Bermuda Island. Even if you don't like it, I know they'll like you. Now, Bruno, what's holding up the trail work in the east section? Oh, is that right? When can you get back to the full work schedule? That's right. All right, I'll buy that this time, but next time you'd better have a reason and not an excuse. Yeah, that'll be fine. Goodbye. Bill, here are bids for supplying winter feed for wildlife herds. Thanks, Ray Wolf. Uh, Henry? Henry? Yeah? Uh, did you call me? <laughs> you don't have a brother by the same name, do you? Come on, snap out of it. I'm sorry. I guess I'm still blue about Stumpy leaving. Yeah, so are we all, but ranger work must go on. That's right, we got a job to do. Yeah, I know. Well, how long does it take to get over missing somebody? I can tell you the answer oh, to that, Sonny! Never! <laughs> when did you get back? Just now! You good sight for sore eyes, old-timer. <laughs> Welcome home, old friend. Did you decide to retire here instead of far away? Nope. I come to get my job back. To get reinstituted. <laughs> you mean, you mean reinstated? <laughs> well, stayed or stood, it don't make no difference. I'm tired of being retired already. So I come back to go to work. Right now. I even got me old work hat with me. God, come on, let's get out on a trail. Boy, this is great. Oh, there, wait a minute, Henry. What's the matter? Mr. Jenkins, 
I'm sorry, but we haven't any openings in this district right now. And you're also way over age to be rehired. name of common sense are you up to oh, anyway? Oh, simmer down, Tom, and tell me what's got you so hot under the collar. You know what's got me so steamed, and you know very well. Let me tell you something, Mr. Boss Ranger. You take the old-timer back, or you're going to get the biggest pile of transfer requests on your desk you ever saw in your life. There isn't a man in the district who isn't steamed plenty about this, and I mean steamed. You through now, Tom? Yeah, I'm through blowing my stack. Bill, why don't you take him back? Because I don't think it'll stick, that's why. Bill! Henry, don't argue with me. You've yapped at me half the night about this, and I'm tired of it. There are decisions a boss has to make that might not be popular, but they're right. But I'm convinced that Stumpy really wants to come back and stay. You'll reinstate him? I didn't say that, but I will give it serious consideration. Tom, that's a ray of hope. Let's find Stumpy and tell him. What's the use? How can I convince him if he already thinks I won't stick it out? Besides, he sent the papers to Washington anyhow. But you can try. So he has sent the papers to Washington. So what? He can send a a letter recalling them. Come on, how about it? Sure, come on, Stumpy. Give it a whirl. The men want you back anyway. Uh, Tom, speak truth. All I hear on trail today is when is old timer coming back to work. See? Now, will you try? (sighs) Well, maybe. You have to admit, Bill has strong point. He played fair with you. Now you do the same, okay? Grey Wolf's right. Now that I've cooled off, I can see Bill's point. I don't like his decision, but it's sound. Stumpy, all he can say is no. Well, all right. Let's go to the lion's den and see what he's got to say. Bill, I've said all I'm going to say now. If I haven't convinced you, then I never will. On your word of honor as a Christian gentleman, you'll come back and stick it out until compulsory retirement age? On my word of honor as a Christian gentleman, Bill. Here are your application for retirement papers back. What? You can destroy them at your leisure. You never sent him to Washington after all! (laughs) That old walrus of ours sure can be a problem at times, but we love him just the same, and I'm sure you do too. See you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Ranger Bill comes to you transcribed from the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago.